planets in the solar system. The solar system, our home in the vastness of space, is made up of a central star, the sun, and the eight planets orbiting around it. These planets are diverse in terms of their size, composition, and other characteristics. In this article, we will explore each planet in the solar system, starting from the closest to the sun and moving outwards. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and the closest to the sun. Due to its proximity to the sun, its surface temperature can reach up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 427 degrees Celsius, during the day. While dropping to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 180 degrees Celsius, at night. Mercury has a heavily cratered surface, which is thought to have formed from collisions with asteroids and comets. Venus, the second planet from the Sun, is often referred to as Earth's sister planet due to its similar size, mass and composition. However, Venus has a thick atmosphere that traps heat and leads to a surface temperature of 864 degrees Fahrenheit, 462 degrees Celsius, the hottest in the solar system. The planet's atmosphere is primarily made up of carbon dioxide, with clouds of sulfuric acid. Earth, the third planet from the Sun, is the only planet in the solar system known to have liquid water on its surface, making it a prime candidate for hosting life. It has a moderate temperature range, thanks to its atmosphere that regulates temperature and protects against harmful radiation. Earth has a magnetic field, which protects its inhabitants from harmful solar winds. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, is known as the Red Planet due to its rusty red appearance. It has a thin atmosphere, with mostly carbon dioxide and a surface temperature ranging from minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 125 degrees Celsius, to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. Mars has polar ice caps made up of water and carbon dioxide, and it is the most likely candidate for future human colonization. Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun, is the largest planet in the solar system. It is a gas giant, meaning that it has no solid surface and is made up mostly of hydrogen and helium gas. Jupiter has a faint ring system and at least 79 known moons, the largest of which is Ganymede, the only moon known to have a magnetic field. Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun, is also a gas giant with a prominent ring system made up of ice particles and dust. Saturn has at least 82 known moons, including Titan, the only moon known to have a thick atmosphere. Saturn's interior is thought to be composed of a rocky core surrounded by layers of hydrogen and helium gas. Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, is an ice giant, meaning that it has a rocky core surrounded by a thick layer of ice and gas. Uranus is unique among the planets in the solar system because its rotational axis is tilted at an angle of 98 degrees, causing it to appear to roll on its side. Uranus has at least 27 known moons and a faint ring system. Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun, is also an ice giant with a rocky core surrounded by a thick layer of ice and gas. Neptune's atmosphere contains large amounts of methane gas, giving it a blue hue. Neptune has at least 14 known moons and a faint ring system. Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system, has no moons. However, it does have a unique feature known as the Caloris Basin, which is a large impact crater that measures over 1,500 miles 2,400 kilometers, in diameter. This basin is one of the largest known impact craters in the solar system. Venus, on the other hand, has no moons either, but it has many volcanoes and lava flows on its surface. The planet's largest volcano, Mont Mons, is over 8 miles, 
13 km, high and 385 miles, 620 km, wide. Venus also has a unique feature called the Aphrodite Terra, which is a highland region that is roughly the size of Africa. Earth has one moon, which is simply called the moon. It is the fifth largest moon in the solar system and is the largest relative to its host planet. The moon has a heavily cratered surface, with the largest impact crater measuring over 1,500 miles, 2,400 kilometers, in diameter. The moon is also the only celestial body other than Earth that humans have visited. Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos. Both moons are thought to be captured asteroids and are irregularly shaped. Phobos is the larger of the two moons and orbits Mars at a distance of only 3,700 miles, 6,000 kilometers, making it the closest moon to its host planet in the solar system. Mars also has the tallest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, which measures over 13 miles, 21 kilometers, high. Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, has over 79 known moons, with the four largest being known as the Galilean moons after their discoverer, Galileo Galilei. These moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, are all larger than Pluto and are some of the most interesting objects in the solar system. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, measuring over 3,200 miles, 5,200 kilometers, in diameter. Saturn also has an impressive collection of moons, with at least 82 known moons and possibly many more yet to be discovered. Its largest moon, Titan, is the only moon known to have a thick atmosphere and is larger than the planet Mercury. Saturn's rings, made up of ice particles and dust, are also some of the most spectacular features in the solar system. Uranus has at least 27 known moons, with the largest being Titania and Oberon. These moons are believed to be captured objects from the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune. Uranus also has a unique feature called the Great Dark Spot, which is a large storm in the planet's atmosphere that is similar in size to the Great Red Spot on Jupiter. Neptune has at least 14 known moons, with the largest being Triton. Triton is the only moon in the solar system that orbits its host planet in a retrograde direction, meaning that it orbits in the opposite direction to Neptune's rotation. Neptune also has a unique feature called the Great Dark Spot, which is a large storm in the planet's atmosphere that is similar to the one on Uranus. Mercury, being the closest planet to the Sun, experiences the most extreme temperature changes in the solar system. It has a very thin atmosphere, which means that it cannot retain heat and results in a very cold nighttime temperature. Mercury's proximity to the Sun also means that it has a very short year, taking only 88 Earth days to complete one orbit around the Sun. Venus, despite being the second planet from the Sun, is actually hotter than Mercury. Its thick atmosphere traps in heat resulting in a scorching surface temperature that can melt lead. Venus's atmosphere is primarily made up of carbon dioxide and nitrogen, with clouds of sulfuric acid. Comets and Comet Formation Comets, or dirty snowballs, are small celestial bodies made up of ice, dust, and rock. They have long fascinated astronomers and the general public alike due to their striking appearance and occasional appearances in the night sky. In this article, we will explore the formation and characteristics of comets. Comets are believed to be remnants from the formation of the solar system. They are thought to have formed in the outer reaches of the solar system. In a region known as the Kuiper Belt, where temperatures are low enough for water and other volatile substances to freeze into ice. 
Some comets may have also formed in the Oort cloud, which is an even more distant region surrounding the solar system. Comets are composed of two main parts, the nucleus and the coma. The nucleus is the solid, icy core of the comet, while the coma is a cloud of gas and dust that surrounds the nucleus. When a comet gets close enough to the sun, the heat causes the ice in the nucleus to sublimate, or turn directly from a solid to a gas. This creates the coma and also gives rise to a bright tail that points away from the sun. Comets follow highly elliptical orbits around the sun, which means that they spend most of their time in the outer reaches of the solar system, beyond the orbit of Neptune. However, as they get closer to the sun, they speed up and can develop tails that stretch for millions of miles into space. Some comets have highly predictable orbits, while others only appear once in thousands of years. The study of comets can provide valuable insights into the formation and evolution of the solar system. By analyzing the composition of comet nuclei, scientists can learn about the conditions and processes that occurred during the formation of the solar system. In addition, Studying the orbits of comets can help us better understand the dynamics of the solar system and the gravitational interactions between celestial bodies. Comets have played an important role in human history and culture as well. In many ancient cultures, comets were seen as omens or messengers from the gods. In modern times, Comets have captured the public's imagination and have even been the subject of numerous scientific missions. In 2014, for example, the Rosetta spacecraft successfully landed on the surface of a comet for the first time, providing valuable data about the composition and structure of these celestial bodies. Comets can be classified into two main types based on their orbital periods, short-period comets, and long-period comets. Short-period comets have orbits that take less than 200 years to complete, while long-period comets take longer than 200 years. Short-period comets are thought to originate from the Kuiper belt, while long-period comets may come from the Oort cloud. Comets can also be classified based on their composition. Some comets are primarily made up of ices like water, carbon dioxide, and methane, while others have a higher proportion of dust and rocky material. The composition of a comet can have important implications for its behavior and impact on Earth. Comets have had a significant impact on Earth throughout its history. Large comets or asteroids that collide with Earth can cause massive destruction and even mass extinctions. One famous example is the Chicxulub impact that occurred 66 million years ago, which is believed to have wiped out the dinosaurs and many other species on Earth. Smaller impacts can also cause damage and create impact craters. In addition to impacts, Comets have also played a role in shaping the surface of Earth through their interactions with the atmosphere. When a comet gets close enough to the sun, the heat causes the gases in its coma to ionize, creating a plasma tail. This tail can interact with the Earth's magnetic field, causing auroras and other phenomena in the atmosphere. Comets have also been studied extensively for their potential as resources for space exploration and colonization. Since comets contain large amounts of water and other volatile substances, they could be a valuable source of resources for future space missions. Some scientists have even proposed using comets as a potential source of water for human settlements on Mars. Comets can be classified into two main types based on their orbital periods, short-period comets and long-period comets. 
Short period comets have orbits that take less than 200 years to complete, while long period comets take longer than 200 years. Short period comets are thought to originate from the Kuiper belt, while long period comets may come from the Oort cloud. Comets can also be classified based on their composition. Some comets are primarily made up of ices like water, carbon dioxide, and methane, while others have a higher proportion of dust and rocky material. The composition of a comet can have important implications for its behavior and impact on Earth. Comets have had a significant impact on Earth throughout its history. Large comets or asteroids that collide with Earth can cause massive destruction and even mass extinctions. One famous example is the Chicxulub impact that occurred 66 million years ago, which is believed to have wiped out the dinosaurs and many other species on Earth. Smaller impacts can also cause damage and create impact craters. In addition to impacts, comets have also played a role in shaping the surface of Earth through their interactions with the atmosphere. When a comet gets close enough to the sun, the heat causes the gases in its coma to ionize, creating a plasma tail. This tail can interact with the Earth's magnetic field, causing auroras and other phenomena in the atmosphere. Comets have also been studied extensively for their potential as resources for space exploration and colonization. Since comets contain large amounts of water and other volatile substances, they could be a valuable source of resources for future space missions. Some scientists have even proposed using comets as a potential source of water for human settlements on Mars. Comets have been observed and recorded by humans for thousands of years. One of the earliest recorded observations of a comet dates back to 1059 BCE, in ancient China. Many ancient cultures viewed comets as omens or harbingers of doom, while others saw them as signs of important events or messages from the gods. In the modern era, advances in technology have allowed us to study comets in much greater detail. One of the most famous comet observations in modern history was the appearance of Halley's Comet in 1910. The comet was observed by astronomers all over the world and provided valuable insights into its behavior and composition. In recent years, spacecraft missions have provided even more detailed information about comets.